What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Dima, Mary J Music. So lately, we have seen some trends with some of our affluent um, African-American celebrities and some of our celebrities from the diaspora uh, who have selected male counterparts as uh, those in relationships, you know, you see like Rihanna and ASAP Rocky, although ASAP Rocky is extremely successful, he is not as successful as Rihanna. And of course they have a child. Kiki Palmer recently had a baby shower and is pregnant by Darius Jackson. Another example of her being more successful than the man. Then there is the Megan the Stallion situation. Allegedly she might be pregnant by partisan Fontaine. I believe we know the situation there. Megan Thee Stallion is much more successful than Partisan Montaigne. Now we have somebody else on the scene, Black China, who is with a new boyfriend by the name of Twin Hector. Who? Can I get a da 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 sound effect, Dima? Now, who is Twin Hector? I don't think anybody knows. Just like with Erica Badu and her man, uh, Jerron Atkinson, nobody knows him either. And, and, and I, I'm trying to figure out these women who are financially successful, um, some, depending on who you are, uh, very beautiful. Maybe all of them are beautiful to you. But why are they dealing with men that have nothing in comparison to them? Well, me and Dr. T. S. Son Johnson talked about this about seven months ago with son husbands. I'm going to go ahead and play this particular clip right now. And then we'll come back. We talk about son husbands as boys whose biological mothers kind of have them play husband roles in their lives, play roles mm -hmm. that are really, you know, inappropriate. Um, and it doesn't have to get sexual. But unfortunately, there are times where it, it does. There is sexual violation in, re in regard to that. But for the most part, when we talk about son husbands. These are biological offspring that are asked to play emotionally uh, laborious roles for mothers that usually are reserved for, you know, men. Um, with husband sons, one of the mm -hmm. things I began to notice is that you had well-to-do women who were employed, who were educated, so on and so forth, and who would use the rationale that there were no other options and they would choose men that were intentionally in such a low position that those men could not offer much challenge. So in other words, they were in the dominant position in the relationship. These men depended on them for hearth and home, for in uh, income, for food, for everything. And if they were so much, if there was so much as an argument, those men would be out on the street. Mm -hmm. So it's really, it really came down as uh, to be a control measure, really. But sure. whether you're talking about, you know, especially if you're dealing with women that, you know, decide at a certain point that they want to have children, they want to be married, so on and so forth. And they just chose somebody that they knew they could control. Mm -hmm. And part of the reason I've argued for this is, you know, the average woman can't look up and say, you know what, I'm ready to get married. Let me go get O'Shea. You know, mm -hmm. I, I can get O'Shea anytime I want. Let me go get him. Is mm -hmm. that likely? Not really. I mean, if, you, mm -hmm. if you're if you talking about, and, and I don't want to go back into the whole Kevin Samuels high value man, but the the, the central idea is still pretty, pretty similar. If you want the ideal that we've mm -hmm. been hearing about from black women since the 80s, that guy is not easy to get whenever you feel like getting. Kevin used to talk about mm -hmm. picking a high value man off the high value tree. There mm -hmm. is that perspective out there with a lot of women. But mm -hmm. the problem is those men are not easy to control. You can't make them do what you want them to do when you want them to do it. So many choose men um, who are in a position where they can't really debate. They can't, you know, those they're, they're vulnerable. You see, guys, the goalpost keeps moving. And Black China is a part of that perpetual goalpost. You see, in her younger years, she could get Tyga. In her younger years, Rob Kardashian. And despite being a high earner on OnlyFans, it doesn't give her the right to acquire the kind of man that she would want. Again, like Dr. Tisson Johnson said in that clip, you know, women just can't go and select a man off the high value tree, although they would let men to believe that they can do so. It's just not feasible. Women don't have the opportunity, um, at least not all of them, that they will just be able to go and be like, Sad music. You know, I feel like going to get married today. I'm 45 years old. You know what? The whole world's going to stop while I go out here and get married. It, it just doesn't happen that way. Okay? 
And what happens is these women still desire uh, some sort of commitment. They desire some sort of companionship. And what we find that women are doing is that they find themselves dealing with a man that they find physically attractive, but a man that they can't or, or, or a man that won't be able to challenge them. And this is the case with a lot of people. Let's say Nikki Minaj and uh, well, we, we know her husband, Mr. Kenneth Petty, which is, I mean, it's self-explanatory how the situation is. That guy can never stand up to her because he doesn't have anything. And this is what you're seeing with a lot of successful women, not just in um, in hip hop or, or entertainment. And these women, for some of them, I mean, depending on what your taste is, you would say, hey, that's a you know very attractive woman. She's in good shape. But again, these ladies have not been able to get the man of their choice. So now they selected a man that they feel is physically attractive. And let's just say, for example, if that man had money or was doing very well, he wouldn't be with her. But because that man doesn't have an opportunity to do something else, he's doing it. Now, if you look at Black China, she's dealing with this guy. He's an up and coming rapper. She's the man in the relationship. All right. This is a young guy. If he was on right now, he wouldn't be dealing with her. He'd be dealing with somebody else. But that's what you see. And a, a lot of ladies have, have, have shifted the goalposts. You know, she's an older woman than this guy, but they're together. That's the boo. And it, it, it looks great together, right? Yeah, it looks great together because the reason is she can't do any better than that. Because, uh, again, most men will put up with some of your stuff. For the most part, I would say, and what we would consider somebody's prime. But as you get toward the end of the prime, and not to say that she looks bad because she doesn't, but you just have more opportunities with other people. And this is the same problem with Amber Rose. Amber Rose has, has left the prime years of her life, although she's still beautiful. Now it's just somebody else's turn. So the guys that actually have the money and the status are looking to go younger. And again, and I'm going to keep saying this, women believe that having money and influence solves every problem. It solves money problems, just like it does for men. It doesn't make a woman care about you. It doesn't make you a man that a woman would desire. It just means you have money. It just means you have some sort of influence in the private sector, but it doesn't mean anything. You still have to work on your everyday skill sets, and you'll be surprised that most people just do not. They don't work on their everyday skill sets, especially a lot of women. They don't feel like, you know what, I need to be a value to this man for him to, you know, for me to stick around. You don't see that. That's why they end up with these guys that can't do anything for them, and then they treat those guys like crap. And I'm not saying that every woman does, but you see it happen. You see it happen because those guys can't go anywhere. They can provide, you know, what they can do in the bedroom. But hey, if you're a man that can't do, you know what I mean? The things they want, they punish you. Oh, I'm the one that have the money here. Get out. And we know it's true because we see it all the time. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of the celebrity john i really appreciate you for all that you do subscribe at the bell check out the first company at the top and as you know the buffoonery remains at all time high i'm out